Good morning, you guys. I am up, showered. I'm literally just washing my face right now um, because we are going into town. So me and my dad are going to nip into town just to get a few last minute little Christmas bits. Like, going to be a very quick early morning Christmas dash, you know? Thanks, Mum. When you've got no decorations, when in doubt, hang your underwear on the tree. some mushroom creamy mushroom soup which is the fresh one from m s is so lovely me and mum just have like share it and it's gorgeous i actually just popped in a little bit of garlic powder in there as well to make it more like a creamy garlic mushroom soup mushroom soup absolutely gorgeous do you well i can go in skiing yeah it's barely the afternoon and it's still dark it is such a gloomy the uk is currently having a little mini storm going on it's kind of like the first video back since the video i kind of was a hot mess on i'm still a hot mess but we're keeping it together and i was really nervous uploading that but thank you so much for all the love and support that you have shown on that video i really was like fully vulnerable and raw on that video and it's hard to upload when it's not the kind of content that I want to be kind of putting out there because I don't want you to think one I want attention and two I'm doing it as like a pity me kind of thing because it's not I just also just wanted to kind of be fully transparent with what is going on because honestly I've not got a lot of energy the fact that Christmas is literally in a few days and I can't believe how quickly it's came around, but we're actually not really doing anything for Christmas anyway. We're going to have a really, really nice, chilled Christmas festive period. I am not up to doing anything, so not doing anything for New Year's Eve. I am not mentally ready for that. It's okay to not feel, like, happy in the festive period. It's okay if you don't want to see people. It's okay if you just want to take time out for yourself. But I've decided that New Year's Eve, I'm going to kind of put my phone away, turn my notifications off. I'm not going to go on social media and just have a really nice night and not have, you know, people's rewinds of the year. Because there's a lot of pressure this time of year to feel extremely happy, want to go out all the time, be glam, go out for drinks with your friends. I'll be honest, I just want a really chilled quiet christmas it's the first christmas as well my dad's home which is lovely my dad is actually not working christmas eve and christmas day which is so nice again so it's going to be very wholesome very chilled and that's how i want to be they're my christmas plans <laughs> how exciting i actually can't believe that i've not been able to show you my kind of new side of my room so i think i said in a few vlogs ago that I was switching up my living room area. So you guys remember I used to have a big, big fat, big chunky cream sofa that I got earlier <laughs> this year. This was the era that I was bleach blonde, massive eyelashes, face full of makeup, and I wanted everything to look super aesthetic, super cream, super... I managed to sell the sofa, which is amazing. I've actually not given you guys a little tour of my room yet. Not gonna lie, I'm so proud of it. I love my room so much. This is the first time where I feel like I'm really happy with how my room looks and it's just me to a tea. Like, I think we all know that this is my vibe completely. Ambient Lounge is the company that we get our dog beds from. So they do the most incredible furniture, like bean, bag, kind of very luxury comfort it's a beautiful brand i really love the aesthetic i love the vibe i love how different it is as well with the style that i was going for in my room i wanted it to be more of a cozy corner more than it being a very fixed like here's a sofa here's a mirror it just didn't work having a sofa i don't know why i thought that was a good idea so i've been really loving the style 
of these like cozy corner couches well i say couches beanbag chairs i always like to call them beanbag chairs which i know is not the correct terminology but they basically are like a beanbag style chair they've got no legs they are on the floor i wanted to kind of turn it into a lovely corner where it created coziness and oh my god when i tell you this area since i've got my new ambient lounge sofa i couldn't be happier they did very kindly gift me one of their sofas so in love to another level i was debating whether to go for like a gray kind of natural color when i went online to kind of do which I always like to do, like vision boards and mood boards. I tried to get an idea of what I wanted to do with the corner of my room now my sofa had gone. Like I've never really known how to kind of work with that area of my room because of the shape and size of it. And then I also ordered a gorgeous big kind of round black rug. I feel like the round cozy corner vibe just suits that side of my room to a T. Like as soon as you come in, it's giving cozy vibes and I love it. Pretty much the same, but it just looks bigger and more cozy. And I also got myself a gorgeous sensor light, which was from Amazon. It's a black plug-in and you basically, I say sensor light, I don't use it as a sensor. I have it just switched on and it just gives it a gorgeous glow where my little side table is so nothing's sticking out it's made that area a lot more accessible for me as well and it just really suits that side of the room it's a little cozy nook when i say it's transformed the room so perfectly i feel like it's a very dark scandy vibe which makes my room feel super cozy and warm i know that sounds really weird but because I already had black details, like my black sideboard, I knew that I was going to love it. And I know that I'm not going to kind of change my mind about it because the moment I got that black sideboard, I was like, oh, I should have gone for cream. No, my mum was right. Like, always listen to my mum. Just never, just never get cream. I don't know why I even thought that because that sideboard was the best thing I bought. I think you guys will love it. now that i've basically caught you all up and you've had a tour of my room i'm actually in the mood to cook let's go into the kitchen let's get cooking So this is the gorgeous Wellington after 20 minutes in the air fryer. Look how golden. That's just oh. half. No. This is another half. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about it's that. Huge. Yeah, so we did two drawers and then in this drawer, some roast potatoes and we also have some veg in the other one. Could not live without this air fryer. Mm -hmm. 